The United States military reportedly investigating whether two Navy SEALs were involved in the death of an Army Green Beret in Mali. That's according to the reporting of the New York Times and others. The Times reports it happened in June while all three were on a secret assignment. A military medical examiner ruled homicide by asphyxiation killed the 34-year-old Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar. In other words, somebody strangled him. Sergeant Melgar was assigned to the 3rd Special Forces Group, the same unit which lost four soldiers during an attack in Niger earlier this month. I should say the same unit from which four soldiers died. The New York Times reports the two Navy SEALs under investigation here are members of SEAL Team 6, the elite counter-terror unit responsible for killing Osama bin Laden back in 2011. Our national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is live with details from the Pentagon. Jennifer? Shep, well, they knew almost immediately. They had suspicions. Uh, the senior higher-ups in Stuttgart, Germany, um, uh, that's AFRICOM, U.S. Africa Command, suspected foul play almost immediately and dispatched investigators to Mali within the first 24 hours. Those investigators spent months investigating. The Navy's Criminal Investigative Service, NCIS, took over the investigation from the Army on September 25th. Staff Sergeant Logan Melgar was 34 years old, a native of Lubbock, Texas. Texas. He joined the Army in 2012 after graduating from Texas Tech University. He was a veteran, having served two tours in Afghanistan with the Green Berets. His wife, Michelle, has not commented on the case. He was said to be a devoted father who Skyped with his family most nights, Chef. Uh, where are the two Navy SEALs now, Jen? Well, both were quickly taken out of the country, flown out of Mali shortly after the incident on June 4th. They have not been named and have been placed, we're told, on administrative leave. The two Navy SEALs, members, as you mentioned, of the vaunted SEAL Team 6, have not been charged. The two SEALs were sharing U.S. Embassy housing with Staff Sergeant Melgar at the time of his apparent strangulation. They were all part of this small special operations unit assigned to a counterterrorism unit in Mali. Rumors have abounded about the cause of death. Staff Sergeant Melgar will be buried at Arlington National Cemetery on November 20th amidst this ongoing investigation, which has now gone from an Army investigation to one led by the Navy chef. Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Thank you.